The next thing we're going to work on with young percussionists is marimba technique. They've already learned how to play the snare drum and they're working with match grip. So we're going to take that same grip and apply it to the marimba. Now the one thing that's different with marimba mallets versus snare drum sticks are we have a big ball on the end of the stick. So how a snare drum stick, we have it so that the ball, uh, the, 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 the drumsticks can bounce very nicely on top of the snare drum. It bounces back. Here, the marimba mallet doesn't really bounce like what it does on top of the snare drum because we have this big ball on top of our mallet. So what we want to do, we want to try to have the student think of a full stroke or an upstroke. And we're, we're still using the same technique we are with snare drum. But the stick on the snare drum will automatically bounce back with us. Here we have to help the stick along. So go ahead, have the student work on any note, or you can just say, start off with middle C. Have them hit in the center of the bar and work on a consistent sound with that hand. Go ahead and do the same technique with your left hand. Then we can use both hands back and forth. Now we can either share, which I call this, we're sharing this bar with, with both mallets. So there's a couple different ways you can approach it. For the young percussionist, go ahead and have them still place both their mallets in the center of the bar, but you can have one hand on top of the other if you would like, because this is their first chance at actually playing a marimba or a mallet instrument. So right here, I'm going to have my right hand on top, I'll call it, or in front of the other note. So we'll go back and forth to just play right, left, right, left, right, left. Eventually, you can get the student playing where they're playing, actually in the exact same spot. But until that they can get this concept achieved, they can go ahead and play very close to each other. Plays sets of 16th notes, and we can play chromatically from C up to C. We can think of sets of four sets of 16th notes, and we can go like one E and a two E and a three, four. Then we can move up to the next chromatic note, which here we have C sharp. Two, three, four, one. Try to make it work so that you're playing in the center of all the bars for this exercise. So now we could do that same exercise all the way back down and they can work on their stroke. Now, what is the number one thing that is different? Well, actually, I'll say that there's lots of different things that are different between the marimba and the snare drum. But one thing that they'll notice right away, besides the fact that they have to have more help that stick come back up instead of letting it bounce, is the fact that they're moving on this instrument. Whereas on a snare drum, it's on just one single level. It's just one single head. Here we have, we're moving up. We're moving down. We're moving from here, moving over here. If we use the entire marimba, we're going to be walking. So there's lots of different types of things that the student is going to have to learn how to do. So limit that very first few exercises just to say like about an octave so that the student does not have to worry about too many other things. They're already going to really see a lot of different things on top of here and we just want to focus on just a couple of things to begin with.